So this is ELC 111. And the topic of this uh, video is digital logic gates. Now, a digital logic gate is uh, simply an, a, an electronic circuit that performs operations on digital values. And the first gate it, that we'll look at is the AND gate. The AND gate has two inputs. And we'll call those inputs A and B. And it has one output Y. And this is the schematic symbol for an AND gate. Now, the operation performed by the AND gate is uh, described using what's called a truth table. The truth table provides us a table with every possible combination of the input values and the corresponding output value. So for our inputs A and B, we have four possible combinations of input conditions. Again, with two inputs, our possible combinations would be two to the second power. So the inputs can be either A and B are zero. A is a zero, B is a one, A is a one, and B is a zero or A and B are both ones. Now, is, as the name and implies, the output is high only when both A and B are high. So the truth table that describes the output as a function of or for the input conditions is shown. Both A and B have to be high in order for the output to be high. Now, our second basic logic gate is the OR gate. And the schematic symbol for the OR gate is shown. And the OR gate has two inputs. Again, we'll list those inputs as A and B, and it has one output Y. And again, we describe the operation of this OR gate using a truth table. And the truth table, again, provides us with the output for every given combination, every possible combination of inputs. Again, with two inputs, we have four possible input conditions, two to the second power. Now, for the input conditions where A and B are zero, the output Y is zero. For the input condition where A is zero and B is one, the output is one where A is one and B is zero, the output is a one. And when both A and B are one, the output is one. Again, as the name implies, either A or B being high gives us a high output. And the third basic logic gate is the not gate. And the schematic symbol for an, a NOT gate is as shown. There is one input A and one output Y. And our truth table is as shown. With one input, there's two possible combinations for the input conditions. And the output Y is not the input condition. So if the input condition is zero, 
the output is a one. If the input is a one, the output is a zero. Now we refer to this uh, not function in digital electronics as a complement. You may hear that term complement and that simply means that we change the zeros to ones and the ones to zeros. Now, I want to talk just a little bit about Boolean algebra. Now, in around 1847, there was a um, mathematician named George Boole, and he published a paper where he um, came up with a method of expressing logic problems in the form of algebraic expressions. And in the 20th century, they uh, used Boolean algebra as a means of expressing and reducing digital electronic circuits. Uh, Boolean algebra is used not only in digital electronics, but it's also used in set theory and statistics. And again, Boolean algebra just gives us a mechanism of expressing these logic functions as algebraic expressions. So the and operation that we looked at earlier would be expressed as y equals a and b. And the dot, we usually see this used as for a multiplication sign, is our symbology for the and operation. Now you may also see this shown as y equals a and b, where the up caret is used to again designate the and operation. Now the or operation is as shown y equals a or b. The plus sign for mathematics is used to symbolize the or operation. Now you may also see this as y equals a or b with the down caret or the v used to symbolize the OR operation. And the NOT is expressed as Y equals NOT A with the bar showing us the NOT or complement operation. So Boolean algebra simply gives us a, a, a mechanism for uh, expressing these logic operations in the form of algebraic expressions. Now let's put this to um, practice and look at a little example of how this is used in uh, in, in today's world or, or, or in the world. And let's think about our automobile. We have a circuit
that. Outputs a one or a high logic level when the key is in the ignition. Of course, it would output a low or a zero when the key is not in the ignition. We have another circuit that outputs a one when the door is open. And of course it outputs a zero when the door is not open. And we've got another circuit that outputs a one when the headlights are on. And of course it outputs a zero when the lights are not on. And then we've got a final circuit that chimes when the input is a high or a one. That should say input, input. And of course, it's a, um, it, it does not chime with a zero input. And you're hopefully familiar with this um, uh, situation. Um, and, and what we want to accomplish is to be able to create a chime If the key is in the ignition and the lights are on. And we also want to make a chime. And that should have been an if there. If there's, the key is not in the ignition. Oh, wait, I did this wrong. And the door is open. Sorry. And we're going to make a, a chime if the key is not in the ignition. And the lights are on. So when you if, if you if the keys in the ignition and the door is open, we're going to make a chime. If the key is not in the ignition and the lights are on, <coughs> we're going to make a chime. This way, of course, we'll be we'll be um, uh, informed if the door is open and the key is in the ignition. We'll also be informed if we uh, take the key out of the ignition and the lights. Are, are still on so we don't run the battery down. Now, the first thing I want to do is express this in the form of a Boolean expression. So I'll say we'll have a chime and I'll use the letter C for a chime. If this condition, if the key is in the ignition and the door is open, so I'll say the chime happens if we have the key and the door. Or I'll have a chime if the key is not in the ignition and the lights are on. 
So I'm simply um, expressing these circuit outputs. The, the K is a one if the key is in the ignition. It's a zero if it's not. And if the, if the door is open, we'll have a one. Um, if the lights are on, we'll have a one. So let's see how we would implement this with a logic circuit. Now I'm going to take my key sensor and send that in to a not gate because I have to have a not key signal and the not key signal is sent into an AND gate along with the output of the light circuit. Now the key itself is sent into an AND gate along with the door information. And then the output of both of these AND gates go together into an OR gate. And this will be the signal that's sent to the chime circuit. So at this point right here, we have K and D. At this point right here, we have not key and light. And of course, my chime output would be this expression that we see up here, K and D or not K and L. So this is, are the, those are the steps we would take to design a logic circuit to implement this uh, a solution to this uh, these statements. Again, we have a circuit that outputs a one when the key is in the ignition. That's shown down here as K. We have a circuit that outputs a one when the door is open, that's here. We have a circuit that outputs a one when the lights are on. And of course, we need to implement or design this circuit to provide us the chime to meet these criteria. So these are the steps we would take to um, come up with a solution or a digital circuit design to satisfy the problem statements given.